NLP AI Jasper ChatGPT. What do I think about it as an NLP trainer, as an NLP expert, and having trained two and a half thousand people around the world? I actually have been testing Jasper for four months and chat GPT for about two months. So I do know a thing or two about it. From an NLP perspective, um, definitions wise, jargon wise, slippery slopes. Uh, I've gotten some responses back about even the definition of NLP itself. So let me explain this. Uh, chat GPT and Jasper cannot tell the difference between neuro-linguistic programming and natural language processing, which are two entirely different things. So sometimes when you're trying to use AI, thinking that you're getting answers based on neuro-linguistic programming, you're actually getting information back about natural language processing, which is a problem, especially if you cannot tell the difference. So that's one issue. Um, when I type in sort of jargon of typical to NLP, like anchoring, does a pretty good job in explaining it. I see some mm, similar mistakes that a new NLP practitioner or a trainer that stands in front of a training room a little bit too quickly than they should. Um, I see the new ones missing. I see sometimes things blatantly wrong, uh, like saying that all left-handed people are uh, using eye accessing differently and don't follow the normal pattern, which is absolutely false. So I see some real falsehoods slipping in in places. And especially if you go into more detailed master level type searches, I see huge problems still at this point. But since the algorithms and the, uh, they are still learning, who knows, maybe one day. I did some uh, interesting um, uh, uh, demonstrations or interesting researches. I would, for instance, write down, uh, write, describe Bali, where I am right now, in visual language, did a beautiful job, auditory language, did a beautiful job, kinesthetic language, beautiful job. And, and in fact, um, the predicate used, the visual, auditory, kinesthetic words used, are actually really good to gain some ideas for yourself to have a higher level of words to use and, and, and put in your piggy bank of NLP knowledge um, to write your stories uh, better. And, and including it can write things four toppled, meaning visual, auditory, kinesthetic, olfactory and gustatory. It even understands the word four toppling. So that's really good news. Uh, another search that I did is write down 15 meta model questions that I could ask in a job interview. I was about 60% happy with it, though it's true that meta model questions were spit back to me. The questions were not of a great quality to actually use in a job interview, but maybe for a new NLP practitioner, maybe for a person who is not that well versed yet, has never really taken NLP practitioner training, it really is an interesting way to ask better questions. So I think for the non NLP trained, really good thing to use. Um, I also, can you write, uh, uh, describe Bali Milton modeled? It did a really good job. It felt a little mm, void of emotion void of, it felt literally like a computer wrote it, which is actually my, my largest objection today, uh, February 2023, my largest objection with artificial intelligence that I can spot it a mile off. It sounds like a robot wrote it. Though granted, when I sometimes read stuff written by scientists, it sounds really similar to be honest. But in terms of professional storytelling, which is what I do for a living, um, it sounds like a computer. I'm sorry, I wish I could say something different, that it can replace uh, copywriters. Um, you immediately tell that the personal storytelling, the emotion is not there, which is my huge complaint about it. But in any case, I also did some work on uh, using perceptual positions in AI. So, so that was also interesting. I would da write down, can you write this text? And I would copy and paste the text in there on the first perceptual position, looking through your own eyes, associated. 
I did the same from the second perceptual position, looking through somebody else's eyes. The text pretty much was unusable, to be honest, in the five perceptual positions of NLP. Though it knew the five perceptual positions of NLP and could to a degree define it as well, when I asked it to write in that language, it actually did a pretty poor job, to be honest. Um, I had a sense that it was trying to maybe draw on examples given in blogs rather than examples given from real life people talking from a third perceptual position point of view, second first perceptual position point of view, which kind of indicates that not enough people are adding huge volumes of text that really speak in NLP language cleanly to indicate, hey, write this from the fourth perceptual position group position point of view, if that makes sense at all. So I think I did a pretty terrible job. In any case, considering that we're talking about information pulled from the internet, written by computers, I was still pretty impressed. I am still pretty impressed um, that it still was able to do NLP decent enough to be useful for someone who has never studied NLP or for a person to, to get a better idea of, 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 of what NLP is or a, a more use of words. Um, I also uh, added uh, search terms like elicit the state of joy or elicit the state of confidence uh, into ChatGPT. Um, and it was interesting, it didn't come back with actual text, it came actually back with a pattern, a technique that you could use. And what was really interesting about it, it actually terribly reminded me of a blog post that I have written, like literally the blog posts that I could actually find. And why is that? Well, I know why it is. I'm one of the few NLP trainers out there who writes and designs uh, new techniques and willing to put them online for everyone to use. And most NLP trainers are either not blogging at all or they kind of repeat for, through the same NLP practitioner stuff. And when you look at this site where you found uh, this article, if you go to our hub or go to our blog, then you will see that I put many free NLP techniques and patterns out there that I designed uh, uh, for my students that you can get as well. If you're interested in receiving those, just send us an email, uh, visit our website at globalnlptraining.com. We'll send you tons of free techniques, free information, where to go, and we're more than happy to send that to you. So hi from Bali, and uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye.